It's a fact. This vertical axis wind turbine as you see it is less efficient than a horizontal one would be that would have the same swept area. The turbine is 12 feet in diameter and 4 feet high. That's the swept area that the wind has to push against. Now if you've been following along, you would know that this wind turbine is an experimental test bed. I used the least expensive materials I could find and some parts and equipment that I already had. And I've been experimenting with different kinds of mechanical drive transmissions hoverboard wheel motors for generators, and a right angle chain drive system. I knew about these lower efficiency levels on something like this before I started. A lot of times things on paper don't work out the way you want them to in real life, and I wanted to see what I could verify, and that's the whole purpose of this system. It might just be temporary. Now let's go take a little closer look. So I have my right angle chain drive connected right now and I changed the sprocket down here on the alternator to 18 tooth sprocket. This over here is a, about a 9 to 1 ratio with the chain and this low sprocket and this is a 72 tooth sprocket here and that's an 18 tooth sprocket down there and I got it hooked up to my three phase bridge rectifier going up to the meat of the test meters. This is a 500 pound wind turbine and all this turning metal down here is another 80 pounds. It has to build up momentum. And this is an alternator off a of Whisper 600 wind turbine. this resistance wire I got set up. DC, current DC, that's what we're getting right now. You can make them out. I hope the sun isn't reflecting them too bad. Oh, the wind's dropping down again. And yeah, down to six, five. Wind's dropping again, so it's really hard to get a consistent wind speed and reading on here. That's what I'm finding out. This little vertical axis wind turbine is similar to that bigger one. It's the same design and pretty much the same blade angle. It's just smaller. And it was too small in my opinion to even bother putting the generator on there. There's just not much power available with this one, unless it's like in a 20 mile an hour wind all the time. And you can check that out on those online wind turbine calculators. This one's 4 feet in diameter, 18 inches tall, and that's the swept area. The area that the wind will push against. Now with these vertical axis wind turbines, 
half of the turbine is turning into the wind and the other half is turning away. And that's the reason, the main reason why these are less efficient than a horizontal axis wind turbine, the propeller ones. The area of that circle that the propeller turns in, that's its swept area and all of the wind pushing against that swept area is acting to produce torque in the turbine where this swept area only a part of it is acting to produce torque. The other half either isn't being used at all or it's actually adding some counter torque to the turbine. And when you look at this profile it looks like maybe only a third of it is providing positive torque. Even if the wind was heading straight on to this blade right here the angle of it would want to push the tur turbine in that direction. A little bit would be deflected in here. But as you can see, this smaller portion is where the torque is being added. And this other stuff, even though you have to figure it in on those online wind calculators, isn't doing anything or it's actually subtracting positive torque. So that's the reason why generally these are less efficient than the horizontal axis wind turbines where all the swept area is getting pushed on to produce positive torque. There are many different designs of vertical axis wind turbines out there and all kinds of claims about how efficient they are but they're usually pretty short on factual data one that I did hear of that sounds kind of interesting is one that would have collapsible veins on the one side and then they kind of unfold on the other side. So like this side over here would collapse and then when it gets over here to the power side they would unfold so you have positive torque on the one side all the time and the wind would just fly by on the other side. But for a fixed blade turbine like this Something simple that you can do is just put some wind diverters on the one side. So let me check the wind direction. And it looks like it's kind of going straight into it. And what you do, you just take a sheet of something and you just block the wind on the one side and divert it over to the other side. You have to get a decided kind of angle you want on there. So if the wind is coming in like this way, it'll block this side of the turbine from the wind hitting it, and it'll divert the wind over to this side to add some more torque. So that's something pretty simple you can do. Having wind diverters on this wind turbine was part of the original plan. A number of people have commented saying that's what I need to do, and I agree, I just didn't get to it yet. I had originally drawn in four wind diverters for the plans of this, but I got six posts, so I think I'll put six in. I need to wait till it get a little bit warmer temperatures. We've been having a streak of 20 below stuff. But that'll be the next step, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.